What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we're filming some 20 gauge bismuth loads. Here's the first one up, so see what it is, stay tuned. Alright guys, first up, I'm going to be self filming today, I'm going to crank all these out. We do have the chrono that Anthony set us, as you can see it's set up. So not only can we analyze the pattern now, thanks to his generous donation, we can check those speeds and see just how accurate that label is on the speeds. Now they are going to differ between shot shells. So having this chrono is going to allow us to really test these loads more in depth. Also, it's going to allow us to do more consistency tests, as in speed consistency tests. And I already got one idea of what I want to do for turkey patterns. I want to take three turkey loads, same load, shoot them on three patterns, check the speeds for all three. So not only can we check consistency of pattern between three loads, we can check the speeds too. So that's down the road. But today, we're going to be shooting this heavy bismuth. This is a 20 gauge, three inch shell. Now this is four shot bismuth. Ounce and an eighth payload traveling 1400 feet per second. Setup I'm going to be using, it's clear firearm as you can see here, is my TriStar. This is a good budget gun. I paid $300 for this thing brand new. It's a pump. It's a TriStar Cobra 3. And in the end there, I have the Pattern Master Anaconda long range. Now this would be like a, similar to a full pattern. This bad boy over here does not have the stud rings in. So it should be absolutely excellent with the bismuth. It's not gonna fracture more than what will fracture anyways upon shot. These anacondas are overlooked, guys. These things are killer chokes at a killer price point. They use gas over constriction. And as you can see, maybe, well, I can show you on the outside. You can see these coils. That's the coil zone. That's why it's the anaconda. It wraps gas around that wad and brings that shell through. So it's a pretty, pretty cool little, little choke. It does a lot for the price point. So today, we're gonna turn the chrono on. We're gonna shoot this bad boy at 40 yards as always. Shoot the left target, we'll get a speed. We'll check it to the 1400 claim on the box. Now mind you, most likely not going to be spot on. You're going to have some leeway between your shells. It just matters how they're loaded but we want to see how close it is to it. I mean, if it's really under, that's not good, and if it's really over, that's not good. So, let's get to it. Once again, we got the 20 gauge heavy bismuth. This is a three inch, ounce and eighth payload of number fours, traveling 1400 feet per second. Out of my TriStar Cobra 3, this is a pump, $300 gun, with the Anaconda long range tube from Pattern Master. So realistically, this setup right here, is probably how I'm gonna hunt with it. I love that choke. This is a really good budget setup. I mean, you're in like 370 with the choke and the gun. That's pretty good. So let's get the chrono turned on. I'm gonna have to figure out how we can get a camera on the chrono. I didn't think this through. I'll get the chrono on. I'll zoom down on the target. That speed will stay on that chrono until the next read so we can zoom out check the speeds and I got it set up so I shouldn't shoot it I got a bad track record with chrono so <laughs> we'll see Anthony I promise I got this we'll be all right here let's get right to it okay chrono's good we're on the target we're ready to rock ladies and gents let's see what this heavy bismuth can do Whoa, all right, that's not what I was anticipating. All right guys, so for a speed, they got 1400 on the box. That, I mean, that's cranking. That is absolutely cranking. That's 108 over what they're claiming on the box. That That's not good. I don't know what the normal tolerances are on speeds, but I can tell you being 108 over probably is not good. At least I don't think so. Being a machinist, I would think you'd have tight tolerances on something like that. 
Okay, so maybe we should do a consistency speed test on these loads. But we got clear weapon. Get this set aside. We'll get down there. The first thing on it, the speed, it was 1400 on the label. Chrono got 1508 at the point of the muzzle. That seems like that's really a lot over. I mean, 108 feet per second. That's a lot over speed. That's crazy. I know one of us, the one longtime subscriber, Brock, I always talk to him a lot. I just sent him a picture actually of this, telling him I'm popping my cherry, testing shot shells with the Chrono. He probably just texted me back. I felt my phone go off. Oh, he did. He did. He, he told me to start chrono and shells because he does it himself and he said it's going to be eye-opening to these loads. There, no one tests chronos, so first test with it, pop my eyes wide open. I mean, that's plus 108. That's nuts. But let's go down and look at the pattern, see how it is. I'm going to guess it's going to be way open based on it being way over speed, but we'll see. May, I, I don't know. I, this is I'm new to testing speed, so let's get to it. Okay, so as usual, when I'm self-filming, we'll look at it, I'll jump behind the camera, we'll zoom in on it. Now, you will see X's in this as well, like here and all those. Those are fragmented pellet hits. We're not counting those. I'm here to check fours, not fractured pellets. That, that means nothing to me. But keep in mind, with bismuth, it doesn't matter if you have the stud ring in there, it doesn't matter if you have anything in the barrel, you will have fractured pellets. Now I do know that's what the copper plates their shot, their bismuth, to protect the bismuth through the barrel to eliminate fractured pellets, which we still see it with that. And we see more of them in this right here because this is the heavy bismuth, it's not copper plated. So I will say that the copper plating does help. But as you can see, I shot low. I think I was a little, it was the first time shooting through a chrono with a gun. So I was a little bit more concerned with that so i did shoot low but guys i'm telling you right now that anaconda with the tristar cobra 3 with the heavy heavy bismuth four shot it's an ounce and eighth payload although it traveled 108 feet per second faster than advertised on the box going at 1508 feet per second when it should have been 1400 feet per second this shot a really good pattern i mean Yes, I'm low, but you look at the core here, I mean, it really liked that setup. That shot outstanding. And most of the pattern, I mean, there's no real flyers here. There is fragmented hits throughout the pattern. A lot more than we've been used to seeing, even one on the target. But guys, this is really a dense pattern. And in a 20 gauge, this shot really well. I mean, you have a good full pattern. You have a good core. You have one void right in the middle of it. Outside of that, you have a lot of hits right there. There would be more down here had the paper went all the way down. That's on me though. These should be centered. I think now that I've shot through the chrono, I'm gonna be better on the second shot. Like I said, I was real nervous about that. Real nervous, but now we know, so we're good. But this heavy, heavy bismuth shot extremely well. The TriStar Cobra 3 with the Pattern Master and a kind of long range. Really well. Still had fractured shot. But good core, good full, no real flyers. I'm curious. We're going to be doing a lot more bismuth versus bismuth patterning coming soon. So as of right now, this, this looks really nice. This, this is nice right here. Okay, so jumping behind the camera now. As you can see, zooming in on the core, you have a dense core. There is that one void right in the center of it, it looks to be. But outside of that, I mean, you have a lot of hits right there. You have a good full pattern. Even, even missing, you know, putting some on target, but that's not the importance. We're looking at the full pattern here. And right now, on target, that's actually the skirt of the pattern, if you will, the outside. And you can see there really was no flyers in this in this test. Actually shot really well, even though it was 108 feet per second faster than it should have been. So having added the chrono, I think that's going to be awesome to add to these tests. You're going to see it in our broadhead tests, our turkey pattern series, as well as waterfowl. So we can really check, make sure 
they're advertising speeds that you're actually getting. In this instance, the first shell out of that was 108 feet per second faster than advertised, which to me, that's not good. Although it did throw a good pattern, if you're gonna put 1400 feet per second on that box, you should be close to 1400 feet per second. I can understand a little leeway, but 108 feet per second difference, especially faster, that's not good. I'm curious to see how this will pattern when it goes the right speed at 1400. Makes me wonder now, because at 1508 it patterned awesome, but if you lose that 108 feet per second, it's gonna change the pattern. So this chrono is gonna add a lot to the test. And once again, Anthony, thank you for allowing us to improve our tests. This is gonna improve it dramatically. I think it's gonna open a lot of eyes on these speeds. Now having said that, this setup right here, the Tricer Cobra 3 pump, the Patternmaster Long Range Anaconda, which uses gas over constriction in those coils to keep that wad tight and the shot together, that patterned extremely well, even though it was a lot faster than it should have been. It patterned extremely well on paper at 40 yards. This would definitely kill ducks. And having done the bismuth versus steel penetration test, Yes, the bismuth penetrated exactly the same as the steel at 30 yards, but guys, that test just shows if you can get bismuth to pattern like this, it's going to smoke ducks. It is. That test wasn't to discredit a shot or discredit the bismuth. It was just to see what the difference was. Now, both of those go on the same penetration. That tells me the bismuth is going to smoke ducks too. That's how I see it, or geese, or whatever you're hunting. And with this pattern density right there, that is an, ex that is an exceptional setup for a 20 gauge, especially at 40 yards. I'd be curious to see how it looks at 20 and 30. We're gonna be doing a lot more 20 gauge and 12 gauge bismuth versus bismuth, find the right chokes for them, and really see who's the best of the bismuth. Now I will say there's a lot more fractured shot in this than the copper plate in that copper plate in helps protect the shot so i will add that to this video as we're going to put all of these against each other and i think you'll see less shot fractured in the than you will with the other bismuth being it's a really brittle metal and they're, they're unprotected it's a good job of protecting it so i will add that as we've been saying guys we're pushing for that 10k subscriber if you want honest tests you want true performance talks the rest walks you found the right channel hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell share this with all your hunting buddies also smash the thumbs up button drop a comment below let us know what you thought of the test especially the speed for those that have chronoed a lot of loads drop a comment below let me know what the normal tolerance is because i don't know but to me 108 feet per second over what it should be is not good that's just that seems like common sense that's a lot faster than it should be when we get to that 10k subscriber mark we're going to give away a 20 gauge setup the link breaking down that whole giveaway will be down in the description below so let's get to 10k share these videos out let's give away that setup it's going to be awesome for whoever wins maybe we'll do two maybe we'll make it two winners i don't know I've, I've always been i like doing extra for the channel because without you guys we wouldn't be able to do this without anthony's chrono donation we want to seen that this was 108 feet per second faster than what it should have been so that just shows you without the support you guys give to the channel we would not be able to do the extensive testing we do it just wouldn't be plausible it wouldn't be affordable either it's still it's still really expensive but we would not be able to do the extensive testing we do on the channel so for that support that's why with when we do giveaways i want to give as much as possible help you guys go out and be successful in the field. But guys, I got a couple more videos to film yet. Got to edit all this week's uploads, get them all ready to drop. Got a lot of work to be done. But this sucker right here, this heavy bismuth, although it was extremely fast, way over what they have on the box, it patterned extremely well out of this setup. I'm curious to see how the speeds will change per shell, etc. And I'm, I'm eager to keep testing shot shells for speed it's one thing that goes overlooked not a lot of people test it but guys this is jake sleesman blue collar outdoors and as always we'll catch you on the next one